Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft has been working on in build 21.364. As always, these changes are available through the dev channel and while they are not tied to any specific release of Windows, they are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. Okay, let's have a closer look at these new features and changes available on this flight. Perhaps the most significant change with this release is the ability to run Linux GUI apps on your desktop. Starting with build 21.364, Windows 10 ships with an updated version of the Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL for short, that supports installing and running graphical Linux applications like if they were natively installed on Windows. The installation of apps is practically the same as installing apps on any Linux distribution. Uh, for example, here I have installed Ubuntu 20.04 on WSL and to install an application, I simply going to run this command, which in this case will install the gedit text editor application. And once you type the command, you press enter and then confirm the password of the Linux account. And that's it. Now we have installed the application and to launch it, we can type the name of the application and press enter. And as you can see, now we have the Linux gedit text editor application running on Windows 10. And as you can see, the app renders with all the Linux visual styles like the frame, menus, and other elements. Even the shadow around the frame is supported. This integration goes even further since once you install an application, it will also register into the start menu. As you can see, we installed the text editor and now it shows in the recent added apps list. And if you click the uh, application from here, you can run it without having to have the Windows of System for Linux console open. If you don't have the recently added list, the apps will also be listed in a folder that has the distro name under the distro entry, as you can see right here. Furthermore, when you launch an application, you also see that the taskbar will show a Linux logo for the application that it will tell you that you're actually running a Linux application and it's not natively on Windows 10, which is really nice to identify the apps. If you want to remove the app, like on the Ubuntu version of Linux, you can use the remove command. And now the app is gone and you will no longer see it on the start menu either. When using this feature, there is no need to start an X server manually since the Windows of System for Linux will automatically start a companion system distro which includes all the components necessary to run graphical user interface applications on Windows 10 and the integration even includes support for audio and speakers. So if you have a media application, the microphone and the speakers will automatically pass through and will be available on the Linux applications on Windows 10. And after you close the app and the WSL session, this new companion system distro will also end automatically. If you want to try this out, I will be leaving a link in the video description with the steps to set this up on your Windows 10 computer. On Windows 10 build 21.364, Microsoft is also introducing two big changes to the taskbar, including process classification for Microsoft Edge and the new Echo mode. Starting with this flight, the processes tab in the task manager will now show the process classification for, for Microsoft Edge, as you can see right here. The classification is divided into several elements, such as tabs, browser processes, utility plugins, dedicated and service workers, and more. You also notice that each process includes an icon to make it easier to identify. And if you're viewing a tab, as you can see right here, you also see the site icon. Task Manager now also includes a new feature known as Echo Mode that is meant to provide a way to throttle resources manually. And it will also help you to determine what apps are already running in Echo Mode. According to Microsoft, this feature is helpful when you notice that an app is consuming a lot of resources and you want to limit its consumption so that the system gives priority to other apps which will lead to faster responsiveness and better energy efficiency. If the echo mode is grayed out, as you can see right here, then you're viewing a parent process. In this case, you will need to expand the category and select the 
the process and then right click on it and then choose the echo mode. You may also see this new echo mode enabled automatically on Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome and other supported apps. When this happens, the apps are testing with a lower priority and applying a specific set of power policies to improve system performance. And those are pretty much the biggest changes with Windows 10 build 21364. And alongside those changes, some tweaks have been made to the start menu. For example, now with build 21364, the 3D viewer and printer 3D apps shortcuts are no longer available in the menu. If you're using the nightlight feature, when you turn it on and off, manually through the settings app or action center, the feature will, will turn on and off immediately rather than going through the slow transition animation. And finally, in this release, Windows 10 is updating the notification that reads, we need to fix your account to make it easier to understand. So now it will read, select here to sign in to your account to continue using apps between this device and other devices. In addition to these changes, this release also includes some additional improvements that I can show you in this video. If you're interested, click the link in the video description to learn more. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 build 21364. There is one last thing that I want to show you in this video, and that is the new device usage settings on the personalization section of the settings app. This is not new to build 21364. It's been out for a while, but I never got it until this release on my device. So basically this feature will help you to set up your device with tools and services based on how you plan to use your computer. If it sounds familiar, it's because Microsoft has already made this feature available as part of the out of box experience when setting up a new device or installation. So basically, if you want to use this feature, you will come to the personalization section and then click on device manager and that's where you will enable the feature and then here you will select how you plan to use the computer in this case i'm just selecting gaming and entertainment but at this time it's really unclear how this feature will work because when enabling and selecting the different options nothing actually happens. So when Microsoft actually ships this feature, that's where we're going to see if checking any of these options will, will instantly pop the services and features that will optimize the experience for how you plan to use the computer, or if this is something that will happen throughout the experience of Windows 10. This is also not new to Windows 10 build 21.364 but recently Microsoft has also been making changes to the news and interest widget feature that we'll now see on the taskbar. And one of the improvements that they made is that now when you right click the taskbar and you go to news and interest, not only you have the, the option to turn the feature on and off, but there is also an, an open on hover option that when it's enabled, when you hover over, the experience will open automatically but if you uncheck that option, it will no longer open as you hover over and you will have to actually click to open the experience. Also, there is a new manage interest button that you can click and that will open the browser where you can go and set up the experience with your interests. Remember to like the video and leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.